Hey guys, what's up? Ice Storm here again to a whole new video for you. This is the Backpack Kid game. In the uh, last commentary, I said I think I had the same amount of scores as my team. I meant kills, sorry. That was my bad. But, starting off pretty big, picking off two grenades here. Pick off a kill on Bob Brown. But I want to take it out the guy coming through Broken Wall. Now, this gameplay was one where I was kind of like, kind of pissed off because one, I hate. 13 year olds and this is why right, right here I hate I don't like 13 year olds at all I don't I'm sorry but these guys were the abs absolute absolutely the opposite of MLG in every way shape and form a little bit of road shots going on there but I do pick up the double piece pick up the trip clear out the hard point and I was pretty much going off this game I felt like I was doing pretty good and actually, my B23R was really on point this game, which is rare for me, because normally I have to spray a hell of a lot with my B23R. But I was getting a lot of good 1-2 to two bursts on, guys. It was really nice. And I see I am running my M8 class of Red Dot, uh, FMJ, and Stock. Pick up my Lightning Strike and my Hellstorm. And right here, I do pick up my Sensory off this kill right here. And so right now, I'm just going to town. So we're falling behind here, but I'm kind of happy because I did pick up all my kill streaks. I wall banging that guy. But I get killed a few times right here because this guy had the perfect... Well, right at the... Oh, wait. You know what, guys? Never mind. That's on a hill further down the road, I think. But it's the same exact hill, but later on in the gameplay, you're going to see this guy had the perfect crouch head glitch, and it was retarded. It was right on the stairs, and I just couldn't hit him. I was kind of mad. So I decided to screw that hill and go set up for the next one here. And so I hop out this window, just make sure no one bomb rushes me and I get killed. And now this is a good plan. When you're holding this hill down, I just go in out here. Put a turret system inside to go out. Get into that corner over there or something. Just stay alive. And so right here I get on here and I'm going to get right behind this kind of couch. And there's one guy's going to rush through here. This, uh, rush through this door. But I'm just going to pick up this one guy right here with my lightning strike. I'm going to wait for that guy to come rushing through the door here. I know he's coming. I thought that was him, but luckily I pick him off with the BTR. And, uh, yeah, so, I don't think I ever actually used my sensor gun, uh, until, like, the very end, because I was, these hills are kind of hard to play sentry guns in. Uh, probably been better off maybe using a, a war machine or a death machine, but, you know, I didn't really think about that ahead of time. But I was feeling so comfortable going to this game. And my captures are... I break 10 captures this game. And I also break... I believe I break 10 defense. This guy... I don't know what his idea was. He went... He was at top scoreboard for us in the whole entire game. But he was just sniping the shit out of me. He would kill me, I feel like, every time. I thought about calling in, but I decided I'll just... I don't want to call in because it's a closed in area. I just want to see if they were all rushing if they are all already in there. Which they were. So I pick up this one dude. I saw I get a wall bang. It doesn't really work out the way I planned. So I throw in a trope system seat that I can get one of them to bait it. Probably shoot at it, but none of them do. So this team right here, I'm just like, yo, move. I'm trying to get inside. So I hide behind the desk here. And I do call in the lane strike now. I think I pick up one kill. And I still have my sentry gun. I kind of sound, I'm trying to hold these guys out. And why, I don't know why the hell that guy had a freaking riot shield when he never used stand behind it. It was kind of stupid, really pointless, really. But, nonetheless, jump around here. I don't know where this guy went. I looked for him, and I was like, are you serious? He's, he's gone. So I decided to transit to the next hard point here, pick off one dude on his way to try to pick off my guys down the street. So I'm going to cut through here, go through broken wall. I'm looking for this guy. Oh, run into a grenade here. That's not good. And I jump shot that guy with a B-23R headshot, giving me my new set of streaks again. And I'm just going to pound the hell out of that uh, hill. Because right now, I kind of realize that, you know, these guys, as I pick up the quad, these guys could win the game because, one, my teammates are not the best of teammates at all. In fact, you see they're not even coming near the hard point. Only one of them's really in there. So I kind of realized I got to really take the early jump on this team or we're going to have some problems. 
So I decided to transition really early into each of these rotations and take the stairs here. So I'm going to wait out here. I think I do believe I hear somebody jump on the jump up over here. So I'm going to go over here and take them out. Oh, dang it. So he's taking off from behind. I thought it was below me. I didn't hear him get through that jump, but he had dead silence on. But, that might have been next hill. That's my fault, guys. But, nonetheless, I'm still trying to keep this game, oops, see how I keep this game alive. Sorry for hitting the mic. So I'm going to system here. And this guy's in the corner. I nearly get picked off. I know this guy upstairs. And this is where I get killed a lot. This is where the team keeps getting killed. This guy had the perfect headlights. And I don't know why I didn't think about just doing the jump up. I don't know why it never actually occurred to me to do that. So right here, so I take him out a little bit of distance. Let me get him. I saw my sensor gun, as you see. I was taking out about the grenade. All right here, my move teammate. And now we're going to... I'm going to take him out by Celtic again. But I'm going to transition over to Grandma's. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this team that we're playing wasn't great, but my team, I felt like, was worse than they were. So, it was kind of even, really. And right here, I decided to be a little bit sneaky and save myself a death, and I fail at climbing ladders, guys. I want you to know I did not go to ladder climbing school. I pick up the kill right here, and I'm just gonna take out a sentry gun. I'm gonna throw out a trophy. Ah! I didn't really time that very well. I thought we came through to jump up and really it was coming up the stairs and because there's two jump up points onto this hard point, so I take out this dude again, then in the same place, and that's a really good eject point, guys. When that when someone has capped that, I would definitely go through the top ladder and try to take him out from the sides. Another guy is throwing an EMP on the bottom floor. It will destroy the trophy systems if there is any up there. I found that works pretty well. So I pick up the same dude again. It seemed like the same guy was here every rotation. And right here, I kill from behind. And that's what kind of pissed me off, though, because I'm sure he's playing against, you know, clans and whatnot. When I play against, you know, just random people that aren't really on teams, and they use silencers, I'm so confused. Like, why do you use a silencer in League Play and there's only four people on the map? It's not like you're going to get any crazy high kill streaks in League Play or anything, so. Instantly destroyed my truck system, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, I got, I kind of got scared there for a second. I was like, well, that's insane. So I'll wait here for this guy. He never shows up. I only picked off here off the reload. Go for the wall spray. Uh, go for the wall bang, not the wall spray. Get taken out by his syntax though. And right now I'm like, sweet, we can just hold off for just a, like a one thirty more seconds. We got this in the bag. And so my actually showing there, pretty bad. Sorry. <laughs> Third throw system, and this is probably my hardest spot hill because I'm just trying to really get this hill and hold it down. I get killed right there by Celtic again. He's using he's actually using the dual band. Um, DSR. Which, I mean, I don't, I really don't care that he's sniping. It's just like, I really don't understand why he's using the sniper in hardpoint. So right here, I didn't see that guy come around the corner. I get taken out. And we're going to come here. I'm going to jump this wall. Just go to the next hardpoint to secure the win here. I believe it is. If we can get... 20 seconds on next hard point. I think it'll be mathematically impossible for them to come back. Right here, so I put on my sentry. I actually move it onto this wall here. It's a two way position, it has stairs and everything. My sentry picking up the kill there. So right now, it is pretty much mathematically impossible for them to come back. We won the game, and I'm waiting for this guy to come around. The shield kind of protects me there until it's on its way down. I took some of those bullets. Taking out there with my sensor gun, picking up the kill, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. 
If you have any questions about FSG or you have any ideas for a series you want me to do on this channel, comment below in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. And peace, guys. Ice Storm, signing off.